Hey everyone, so these are some basic exercises and preparations that don't really require any equipment to get a better L-sit, V-sit, and eventually work up to a mana. Now, first things first, you're gonna have to work the proper flexibility to be able to hit that position. If you can't get a 90 degree pike sitting on the floor, you're not gonna be able to do it in support very well. Realistically, you have to work that pike to compress all the way down completely flat Maximizing the flexibility to get the maximum potential of the skill. Mr. Matabi, can you show me a perfect pike, please? Lock the knees very tight. Look at your feet, please. Grab your feet and pull yourself forward. Good boy. Finish. For the first example, we're gonna do hip flexor exercises in the pike position. Gentlemen, please show us 20. You want to keep perfect form. You see how your hands should be in front of your knees. The farther your hands are away from your hips, the more it's going to work the hip flexor and get us towards our goal. Lock those knees out, Jaden. So here in the next exercise, we're going to be doing leg raises. Once again, it's very important to keep perfect form. You want to be moving the full 90 degrees without touching the floor. Doing this at a faster rate is going to help you build better but making sure that you do not touch the floor each time. For the third exercise here, we're gonna work on our V-ups. Gentlemen, show us. Matavi, arms back. You want to be displaying a full range all the way up to the tight compressed V. Keeping your form, not letting your legs slam on the floor. Control the way down. Jaden, more form, please. Better. Primoy, Matavi. These skills require static strength. This means non moving strength. To develop these kind of strength, you have to do preparatory exercises that involve holds. Here we're gonna be working our hollow hold, keeping our legs very tight, engaging our abdominals, maintaining a tight hollow position. Should be struggling here. Should be able to do this for at least a minute. If you can't do it for a minute yet, that's fine, but it's very important to try to build static strength for this skill. The next level will be the V up hold. It's gonna require a little bit more balance in the hollow hold, and it's going to be working a little bit more of the upper abdominals as well. Keep your form. Lock your knees very tight. Compress your body. Lock your knees. Stay up. Nice. Stay up. Fight it. Belly in more, please. Belly in more. Look forward. Belly in. Continue. Belly in. Here we have a tuck support. You can see the shoulders on top of the hands. Knees are pretty high here. That's a little bit higher than a beginner. That's pretty well done. Head is looking forward, holding. Lock your knees. Here we have an L. You can see his body's making 90 degrees from his ankles to his hips to his shoulders. His chest is up. Maintaining the position strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, lock, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Not Once bad. you've mastered the L and you want to get a little bit more range, a straddled V is going to help. This is a nice in-between of the L and the V. Thank you. Good finish. Now, we're gonna have a V demonstrated. You can see decent compression here. You can see the shoulders are now slightly behind the wrists. This is not a bad V. Good job, Jaden. Here's another example of a V. Lock your knees. You can see a little bit more compression here. Lock your knees tighter. Not bad. Step after V. But a complete full step after V would be a mana. Jaden, can you show us an example? Attempt one.
Well done. Matavi, mana, attempt one. A little shaky, but you got to a decent position. Here's another angle. A little weak there. Not bad. You need to keep your feet together more in the mana. That was a great effort. Boys, I want you to keep practicing this. Guys, understand that it's okay to fall while practicing the mana. You might want to try different hand grips that get you the ability to balance, but you have to watch your wrist flexibility because doing in the reverse grip, falling backwards can hurt yourself. You're gonna have to rep this out a lot. You have to also have strong upper triceps. These guys are getting out, getting kind of gassed out after just a few. They need more work. So this exercise we call mana ups. This is a dynamic exercise that starts the skill going. This also teaches a lot of other gymnastic skills. Repeat, Matavi. But this engages the upper tricep along with the abdominal section to get us a little higher than an L and create that action. This next exercise I call a man up. The point is to go from a sitting position through a V, approach a mana, and pop out, engaging the upper tricep along with your abdominal wall. Go, Jaden. Excellent. Repeat, please. As you can see here, his shoulders are going to be back behind his support a little bit before he opens out to a fully extended position. These kinds of skills have really no limit in the sense that you can progress from your L all the way through a mana and even extend that mana upwards and do what I call a mana plus, which would be from that horizontal angle and invert yourself approaching a handstand. All the way up to a handstand, you could either hop or dislocate through to a handstand, maximizing the potential of the skill doesn't get any harder than that. It's a dream skill. It's a very high difficulty in men's gymnastics, but that's the ultimate goal. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Any questions, leave them down below in the comments. I'll get right to you. Any ideas for new videos, I appreciate it. Let me hear what you guys wanna see and what you guys think. Thanks again.